I'm going to try my best to say all the things that I need to say in this one video, which is going to be a lot. As I've been reading the comments, different people saying different things. I read one comment about this one brother that said he was in college. And he said, the only brothers that get love from black women are thugs and athletes. And him as just a young, struggling college brother, he said it was very hard because you either have to be a thug or you have to be a certain way. These kind of comments break my heart. Even with the sister that said that, she knows that her wound is going to be washed out. And that black men don't want to marry. And now she feels that she has no choice but to wash out her wound. These are the kind of comments that bother me. This probably will be one of the deepest videos I ever make in my life. Because this means a lot to me. And even though we have different opinions... One thing I understand, and one thing I want you guys to know, that in a nation, people get married. In a nation, black people have jobs, and they take care of themselves. And they're not on drugs. They're drug free. And what I'm trying to say is, those that are calling the cortex... I mean, black people that are caught up in America. See, you are in the belly of the beast. That's why you have trouble amongst each other. Because you're living in the belly of the beast. And what you need to do, you need to come out of that belly of the beast, is what I've been trying to say this whole time, and come to the nation where you will be treated equally. And you will have equal opportunity. Because in their world, you're just going to be mixed up. You're just going to be mixed up. And I don't understand why black people run from the nation. And they run from people like the black Israelites and the nation of Islam and different places like that. Because these brothers are just merely there to help. And I don't understand why so many thousands and tens of thousands of black people don't feel it's necessary to come to those and come to the arms of those that love them the most. That is what boggles my mind the most. That the nation is reaching our arms out saying, brothers, we love you. Come out of the belly of the beast. Because America is the belly of the beast. Come out of her. And you can do nothing but see your people in that burning house. And they won't come out. But you're yelling, come out the burning house. Come out the burning house. It's burning. But they won't come out that burning house. Because society and the media in America have taught you to dislike and to disregard those that truly love you. They taught you not to be part of the Islam. Oh, those people are crazy. They're just a bunch of black crazy people. They're just a bunch of racists. The very ones that are just saying we love you because you're black and we just want to be there for you because we feel you need help. We feel you need special help because America won't give you the kind of help that we want to give you. But America have taught you to turn against us. Those that truly love you. Why don't you run to the arms of those that love you and why do you run from those that love you? See, that's why you're having so many problems, because you're in the belly of the beast. That's why you, so many of you going through what you're going through, and you're learning to self-hate for each other, and, you, and you're going through what you're going through because you're in the belly of the beast. That's why you have thugs in the street, because they created the thugs. That's why the thugs have taken over, because the media and the system and the record companies is pushing this propaganda. And that's why all these women are fatuated with thugs because they're so celebrated these days. 
any record companies, any Jewish people that run these companies make sure that thugs are celebrated. And that's why women want them, because they feel that they're popular. That's why I'm telling you that it's way more deeper than what we're talking about. That's why we need to come out of the belly of the beast and understand. And everybody got their different opinions, and I could understand everybody's different opinions. But I know and I understand that black love is real. And I know the reason why a lot of people have problems, because they're in the belly of the beast. Now, if more black people will come to the nation and come to the black Israelites and those that truly love them, or the black Egyptians or whatever, if they would come to those with the with the mere agenda to help you as a people and stop running from your people because the master have told you not to run to us. The master told you that they're crazy. See, they're crazy. Come over here where we're multicultural. They're racist. Get away from them. And the only thing we're preaching is black love and love of yourself. And that's all we preaching, but we're denagogue. And that's what they want. Because as long as they can keep you away from us, they will control the world. As long as they can keep black people divided, they will control the world. As long as they can keep you looking at us like there's something wrong with us. Don't run to them. Don't run to the answer. Tell me why the people in the nation don't have the problems that people in the belly of the beast have. You have the problems. You the ones running around here talking about we can't stand each other. We we don't like each other. I don't like black men. I don't like black women. You the one that got the problems. And you say that we crazy? But when you come to a meeting, you see all the brothers and sisters having love for each other. You see black women and black men get married all the time. You see men staying home with their children and staying home with their family. But you're saying there's something wrong with us? No, there's something wrong with you. Because you've been bamboozled. You've been tricked and that's why you have the problems you have. Because you're stuck in the belly of the beast. And that's why you need to come out of America and come to the nation and those that love you. And your problems won't be there. But you have problems because you trust them more than you trust us. You trust America, the ones that did all the dirt, more than you trust your own people. And that's sad. You trust America, the ones that, that plot your demise, the ones that dirted out your ancestors. The ones that dirted out the Indians, the ones that dirted out the Japanese, the ones that have been dirting out people since they landed on Plymouth Rock. But you have a problem with us. That I just don't understand. How could you have a problem with us? The well, only thing we preaching is love. How could you have a problem with us? And you wonder why you have problems? Because you let them in. They're in your world, and that's why you're all mixed up. And that's why you're going against each other like dogs, because they got you mixed up. In the nation, there's peace. In the nation, there's no wagon's heads. There's no ghetto women. There's no ghetto thugs. There's none of that. And I understand that exists. But you know why that exists? Because you guys would rather live in America and pick up on America's ways than to come to the nation. That's why you have the problems you have because you'd rather run the streets of America and learn their ways and get on their social medias and do what they want to do and try to live their dream. And that's why you have the problems you have because you don't trust the nation. You think we're just some crazy black people, but we're not. How could we be crazy when everything is straight? When you come to our meetings, there's nothing but loves and hugs and educated men and educated brothers and conscious people coming together. And people are getting married. There's more people getting married in the nation than there is in America. Believe that. We marry black men and women every day. 
But you guys have the problems. I can't find a good man. I can't find a good black man. I can't find a good black woman. They're all messed up. Why? Because you're caught in the cortex, brother. Come to the nation where there's loves and where there's women that's walking around that got respect for themselves. Where women are walking around with dignity and respect. That's why I'm telling you to come to the nation. Stop running from the nation. Stop letting them trick you away from the peace. Because we okay over here, brother. We're okay over here. You guys are the ones that got the problem. And that's why I'm reaching to you to tell you guys need to come to your people. And you need to come to the nation. And you need to come and see what's really going on. Because if you did, you would be amazed. You would be amazed. The truth has been told. And I love everybody. Those that want to denagogue me, I love you too. I love you, brother. Even though you might disagree with me, but I love you because I know that you're sick in your mind. And I know that you're going through what you're going through. And I know you're turning your back on your people because you're caught in the cortex. You're caught in the belly of the beast. That's the reason why you're turning against your people. Because you're trying to survive in their world. You can't survive in their world. That's why you need to come back home. You need to come to the nation where there's love and understanding. Where people are getting married and taking care of their business. That's what you need to do. Come check us out. Find out where there's a nation at. Find out where there's black Israelites at. Find out your history. Find out where we at because we're not a bunch of crazy people because we're okay. We're taken care of. You guys are the ones that got the problem. And that's why I'm telling you, come and just visit. Come and check it out. Because we don't have the problems that black America has. You know why? Because we are the nation. We're not Americans. We're black people within the nation. And we left her. And ever since we left her, we didn't have no problems. But when you're stuck in the middle of America, you can't win. They will turn you against each other. You will turn around and cut each other's throat. And look what's going on today. You're cutting each other's throats. You're turning your back on each other. And look what you're doing. Why? Because you're caught in their world. In their world, you will not survive. That's why you need to come back home, come to the nation where it's good. Believe me, it is good. You'll be surprised at what you see. You'll be surprised at the respectful women that's walking through the nation and the respectful people and the youngsters. You will be surprised at what you see. You will see order. You won't see thugs and pants sagging and everything. You won't see um, ghetto females with hair colors running through their hair. You won't see none of that. Only thing you'll see is respectful, intelligent, intellectual, conscious black people. Come home. Come home. Come home and check it out. Only thing I want you to do is just check it out. You can't knock it until you try it. One love. One love.